thanks for joining us again. Today I want to teach you how to draw a not so scary monster. Okay friends, let's get started by grabbing a piece of paper. Any color will work for your monster. And you want your paper to go the long way. So horizontal. And grab your pen or your pencil or your crayon or your marker whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to use a black marker today, but I do have a bunch of fun colors set aside so I can add detail when I'm done. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to draw my monster's eyes. My monster is going to have two eyes, but you can make a monster with as many eyes as you want. And I'll kind of start in the middle of the page, but towards the top, and I'll draw a circle. And then right next to it, I'm going to draw another little circle. Just like that. Now, one of the cool things about monsters is no two monsters are exactly alike. So you can make your monster however you want. If you want your monster to have one really big eye and one really little one, you can. If you want your monster to have like three eyes or four, you can do that too. My monster is just going to have two eyes and I'm going to make the middle part of my eye next by drawing a little circle inside the other circles. Now I have my monster's eyes. I need to draw my monster's nose next. So I will do that in the middle of my eyes. And it's just going to be a little hill. Do you see my monster's nose? Good. And now I want to draw my monster's body. And my monster's going to have a very hairy body. So I'm going to start here, kind of in the middle of my eye on the edge, and I'm going to go out a little bit and go down. And at the bottom there, I'm going to turn this into a V, like a V on its side, kind of tilted. And I'm going to do that again and go down a little bit and out and turn that bottom part into a V. And one more time. Down and out a little bit with a V at the bottom. And now I want to do it on this side. So starting kind of the same spot and I'm going to go down and out and I want to stop right about the same spot and turn that bottom part into a V. Do it again down and out. That looks about even. Turn that into a V. And one more. Down, out, V. Good. And remember, your monster can be totally different. If you want your monster to have more hair, you can do that. If you want your monster to be very sleek, you can have just a straight line down, whatever you want. And now we want to connect the two sides of your monster's body to make the bottom part. And to do that, I want to make waves. They kind of are going to look like stretched out W's. Like there's one, and I can fit one more W in. Just like that. So far, so good. Okay, next I want to draw my monster's legs and feet. So in the middle of my monster, so right about here, at the bottom, I'm going to draw a straight line. And then down here, I'm going to draw a straight line going the other way, going across. It will look like an upside down capital T. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to start up here again at the bottom of my body. 
and I'm going to make a straight line down, but not all the way, almost, but I left a little gap. And let's do the same thing over here, down, but leave a gap. And now I want to make the other part of my foot. So I'll start here and I'm going to go up and down. Kind of looks like a shoe, but this will be my monster's foot. This side too. Good. Now you can make your monster's toenails. Um, you can do that a couple ways. You could give your monster some claws. Like that, kind of like, they look like shark fins, don't they? Like slanted triangles. Those are the claw toenails. Or you can do these big tall hills for toenails. So I showed you two ways. You can do two different ones for your monster, or you can do both with claws or both with the hills. And if you want, you can do some stripes in your monster's legs. Very nice. Okay, now we want to draw your monster's arms. So in the middle part of your monster's body, I'm gonna start kind of at the bottom of the middle section, and I'm going to go out and down. Like if you were making the letter R, but without this stem. Like that. See how it's kind of like the letter R? And then we're going to make another line for the bottom of his arm. It kind of looks like a rainbow. For his hand, you're going to make a, almost a little circle, but you're going to leave a gap. And then on the other side, you're going to make the letter C and connect all of that. Now your monster has an arm and a hand. Let's do the same thing over here. Another arm and almost a circle. This is like his thumb. So this looks like the C. And now a big backwards letter C that we want to connect. All right, good. Our monster has some goofy arms. And your monster is going to smile. Or at least mine is. Your monster can do anything you want. Um, kind of like a stretched out U for my smile. And I'm going to give him some funny teeth. So just some funny triangles coming out of his smile. And I think my monster is going to have horns. So to the side of his eyes, I'm going to do a curved line up and then a curved line down. And on this side too, a curved line up and a curved line down. You could also just do triangles for horns. And you can make stripes on your horns too if you want. And I think maybe I want my monster to have wings too. So I'm going to start in between my horn and my arm and I'm going to go up like I'm starting to make a triangle and then I'm going to go down like a triangle and then I'm going to follow those lines until they meet. Let's do the same thing over here like a really stretched out triangle up and then down and then we're going to start at that end and follow those lines back and now we're going to go at the bottom right here and 
do that. Kind of like we're making a cloud line with the line. Okay, here's another one, like a cloud line and up. All right, very cool. We have some little wings. We can do some polka dots if your monster likes polka dots. And some of my polka dots get cut off. That's all right. Some of them are whole circles. Some are only half circles. And I think we're about ready to color. Now, your monster might have wings. So if you want your monster to be flying, you can do that. Add some clouds. Or maybe your monster is just sitting on the ground, standing up, I mean. And then you can draw some grass. And we are just about ready to color as soon as you write your name in the corner like the good artist you are. Very cool. Let's get coloring. 